So I just got a Coney dog all the way from Detroit. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. In this box right here, straight from my hometown, Detroit, Moda City, the Big D is a Coney Island Coney dog. Now, it's actually not packaged like I expected. There are two separate boxes here, but I love Coney dogs. Yes, you can replicate them on your own by buying the constituents yourself, but why do that when you can pay 60 bucks for it to come in a kit? Anyway, since you can order this online, I thought I would try it out and see if I have a resurgence of childhood memories. Now, depending on where you're from, the name Coney Island probably has a different connotation, but in Detroit, there are lots of Coney Islands around. They're little tiny restaurants. They kind of remind me of like a Denny's or cafe, something like that. But you could get Coney Island dogs there, and this is a kit. Now, if this were the only box that came, I wouldn't be surprised because I feel like you don't need a lot of stuff to make this. But as you can see, this box includes 12 natural casing hot dogs, 12 buns, onions, and original Coney Island chili. And you can visit them at AmericanConeyIsland.com. And in this little box, we have... Oh, look at this. Man, they seriously send you the actual constituents. I mean, I have a white onion there. I have a package of Coney Island steamers. All right, so we've got the 12 buns right there. Looks like, oh, I've got the little hat. I think they kind of need to make this in an XL. It barely fits. All right, I'm gonna wear this the rest of the week. And looks like we get a little history here. In 1917, history was made at the corner of Michigan Ave and Lafayette Boulevard in downtown Detroit. I didn't know that. No, it's funny. I patronized this business for a great deal of my childhood and never knew the history. All right, now the rest of it must be in this box and I can see we have it wrapped in styrofoam. Oh, so in the styrofoam cooler, we get, oh, caution, dry ice. Guess all the dry ice evaporated, but Everything's in here. Here are the hot dogs, and they are true American Coney Island hot dogs. Natural casing cranks. They kind of look like indoor hot dogs to me. And then we have the true Detroit chili sauce. And you can see here, chili. Now, I am gonna guess that it's going to be pretty easy to figure out how to make this. We're gonna steam or toast these buns. Then I'm gonna cook these hot dogs. I'm gonna thaw out and bring this chili up to a nice warm temperature. We are going to slice up this onion and then drizzle that on top. And really all a Coney dog is, is a hot dog with chili poured over it and then sprinkled with some onions. Then I always threw some cheese on top of it too. But this is the official stuff right here. So let's get to it. So it's time to assemble this real life Coney dog here. And I grabbed one of the buns. Looks like a standard hamburger bun. You can probably steam these, even toast them, but my recollection is they aren't. I just remember them being pretty soft. So I will take one of the hot dogs here, go ahead and throw that bad boy in, and then we take some of the Coney Island chili and just lay that across there, just like that. And then we sprinkle some of the onions on top of it. My onions are still a little bit frozen. I'm not a huge onion fan, so I don't usually go overboard with those, but that's it. That's a Coney dog. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. Smells like my childhood. Mmm, that's delicious. I tell you what, it's really the chili I think that makes a big difference. It's got a little bit of like that taco meat type of spice and texture and thickness. It's not like eating a bowl of chili. Um, the chili that you would eat in a bowl is probably too runny unless it's really, really thick. Obviously, this has some body to it. It's pretty good. Yeah, reminds me of my days in Detroit. Obviously, a kit like this charges a premium because it is exactly the same constituents that you would get at a Coney Island in Detroit. But if you wanted to replicate this on the cheap, you certainly could. Hot dog buns, hot dog, and even just canned chili would give you a little bit of that experience. But... If you want the exact stuff that you would get served for $3.99, you can order it in the link below. But right now, as far as I can tell, I'm sitting in a Coney Island in Berkeley. Mm. Coney Island hot dog, Peter Von Panda, out.